Okay guys, uh, welcome back to the Jump Zone. This video is going to be a follow-up uh, to the one that I did before, which was about the three visitors that came to Abraham, who I said I thought were the Trinity because the Bible doesn't explicitly mention the other two men as angels. Not in Genesis 18, but it does mention two angels in Genesis 19. And so one has to assume that those two angels dispatched to Sodom and Gomorrah uh, in 19 were in fact the other two men who accompanied God on his visit with Abraham. Now, it could be that these two uh, men were different angels than the ones that visited Abraham. But again, Abram and Lot are bowing before these men and calling them Lord, with a lowercase o-r-d. Now, I'm not sure if this is an etiquette thing, or if it does or doesn't constitute worshipping, but I do have scripture out of Revelation 22, verse 8 and 9, here in the King James Version, where John uh, is having a, a meeting here with an angel, uh, who allegedly is Gabriel, and it reads, starting at verse 8, And I saw these things, and heard them, and when I heard and seen I fell down to worship before the feet of the angel which shewed me these things. Then saith he unto me, See thou do it not, for I am thy fellow servant, and of thy brethren the prophets, and of them which keep the sayings of this book. Worship God. Okay, and by that you can assume that the angel means worship God, not me. Alright? So now I'm going to read you a passage that clearly shows a uh, lot bowing to the angels in the, uh, the next chapter. Sodom and Gomorrah gets destroyed. It reads here, uh, chapter 19, The two angels arrived at Sodom in the evening, and Lot was sitting in the gateway of the city. When he saw them, he got up to meet them and bowed down with his face to the ground. My lords, he said, please turn aside to your servant's house. You can wash your feet and spend the night and then go on your way early in the morning. No, they answered. We will spend the night in the square. Okay, so right here, we see a relationship here. A hierarchical thing where there are angels that are clearly being, that are, a lot is calling lords. All right? And, I mean, this is just, contradictory to the what happened with John when he met uh, Gabriel he was telling him you know do not bow down as you guys just I just read to you guys there so that is I mean I guess it could be a, a, a thing of the times etiquette whatever it is maybe there are certain situations where under certain conditions where angels do have some kind of hierarchical you know authority or whatever it is or rank uh, if you will um it is what it is I you know I'm not going to really argue with it uh, here, but this still doesn't mean that the angel of the Lord is Jesus. Okay, that was a point that I had gotten into, uh, that I was getting into in the last video that I made. I still don't think this somehow means that, yeah, uh, the angel of the Lord uh, uh, is Jesus or something like that. That's like saying, uh, just because the Lord is at the end of it, you know, that that somehow, you know, means that it's 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 it's, it's God. Or it's Jesus. Like, ooh, the, the horse of the Lord. You know, you know, the horse of the Lord, that means that that, that that belongs to the Lord. You know, the house of the Lord. The house is not is not Jesus. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? So, the angel of the Lord, that is the angel that is assigned to Christ. That's his angel. That's his servant, is what that is. And again, it's very weird. Lot is actually saying that he is the servant of this angel. Angels are the servant of God, and usually... Angels, they work for humans, like guardian angels, things like that. But here, you know, a lot is just is subservient, explicitly is subservient to this angel. It's just amazing. It really is interesting, uh, rather. So, uh, yeah, that's all I really have for you guys today. Uh, I mean, I could go in and read more uh, out of here, I suppose. Uh, I tell you what, this was actually supposed to be a follow-up video. So I'm just going to close out and say for the record that during Abraham's time, 
people were bound to angels. Not necessarily in worship, but it does seem to be in the manner that one would bow to someone of royalty, like a prince or a king or someone like that. But all of that seems to have changed in the New Testament. So yeah, Old Testament, they're bowing. In the New Testament, we only bow to the Lord. Okay? We only bow to the Lord. Capital L-O-R-D. All right, and uh, that's all I have for you guys. Stay blessed.